I've got. <coughs> so the gullwing truck's on the front. I'm using the patented braille two bolt strategy right now. And I've got the shark wheels on there because they're small and why not? And uh, I've got a camera mounted on the rear so I can see what's going on with the bushing. So here we go, let's take it for a quick ride. So I actually did get a chance to ride this last night when it was dark, so I, I do have a bit of insight before I get on it right now. But basically, the rear doesn't do anywhere near enough to be useful. And because the rear is so loose, compared to the bushings on the front, I, in order to make it turn at all, I have to stand pretty much all the way up here in order to steer. And if I try to ride it backwards and have the this other truck in the front, it's com almost completely unrideable. So what my, my goal with this is to just see what the bushing is doing so I can try to figure out how best to address that to get a more working version. So let's try this out. And, and that happened. So, all right. Hopefully that got enough good footage. Uh, I was really, really having to, to rail it hard, get as much leverage as I could on it in order for it to really turn it all. Well, to carve it all. So um, you can see it definitely is not working as it should. Let's just get to the bottom of the hill here and uh, have uh, some final words. So I'm gonna have to take a look at the footage from this camera, just kind of see what the bushing was doing and try to have a think about it and see what I can do to try to make it perform more the way I want. So to recap on that, it's, it's rotating this way, right, when it's only supposed to be rotating this way. And um, so I've got to try to limit the amount of rotation it has here. That is uh, turn slop, and that's able to, to move and absorb all the turning it's supposed to have. So there's a couple of ways I think I can do that. Um, one is to kind of make this, uh, put two trucks on, or two bushings on here side by side. And that will stop it from being able to move like this. And it should still make it move like this a little bit more. And another way might be to like bring this piece of wood up to the axle and kind of shape it in a way where it allows the axle to move in the way I want, but restricts it from being moved down and twisting like that. And so that would kind of make it so it's like half of a channel truck, which I kind of want to avoid channels if I can. But you know, if that's a way to make it work to try the idea, then, then that's fine. But uh, I'll play around with it and, and see, what's, see what ideas I come up with after I think about it for a bit. Anyway, that's, the, that's this update of this idea for now at Longboard Technology, over and out.